Hello everybody, this is Neiman Sneed and welcome back to the Peru State Sports Network. Today on the show, we will be going over with Kira Shapiro, the performance that the Bobcats had this past Saturday against Evangel University. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. The Bobcats took on Evangel University this past Saturday, losing in a close, close, close five games. Um, the last game ending 15 to 13. Mm -hmm. um, this puts the Bobcats on a two game losing streak um, and it's actually our first home loss this season. Um, we are still sitting four and two in the hack at the moment. Um, big, big week for us this week, mm -hmm. uh, especially with conference play. Kira, I just want to start out asking you a little bit about these past two games. Um, I really think that we come in first set and we think, like we always play great the first set and then we kind of go down, like we already like won the game or that uh, we already played at our best ability and I feel like we just need to learn how to like finish three or five sets, like we never, I mean I think like this past set we did really good the first set and then the second and third come and we lose them, we need, just need to be more focused throughout the whole game rather than just trying to get the first set. Definitely. And I actually noticed that as well on the sideline. This was probably uh, the best first set we've mm -hmm. had all season. Yeah, it really was. It was good. What do we attribute that to? Why did we start so hot but then just kind of fade off as the match went? Um, I think we come in with like a lot of energy and like we really trying to get it like we're trying to get in and get it done but then I just feel like our focus kind of fades throughout the second and third and, and then we try to get it back. I feel like our team is very um, a roller coaster. We kind of describe it as a roller coaster. We just need to maintain like being up here rather than up and down. So going forward um, during practices and stuff, how do you kind of see yourself stepping into the role of making sure you guys don't have such inconsistency and kind of build upon that? Um, I just, I want to make sure that I go out there and I do everything I can to help this team and how we can win and everything. So I feel like I'm a big role on the court to getting kills and everything yeah. and they rely on me. So I just need to get it done and during practice and stuff, I just need to keep on working on getting kills and uh, working on my hitting and everything and blocking just to help anything or just to help my team Speaking on your kills you had a match high of 19 kills and you had a hitting percentage of 298 mm -hmm. You were kind of on fire on Saturday um, Do you believe that helped fuel? Uh, the, the intensity that you guys played with those five games. Yeah, I think I think uh, whether it's me getting kills or our middles or outsides anyone getting kills and everything I think it helps no matter what. Um, I think that we all just need to go in there and do everything we can to get points. And if I'm the one who getting points, then that's how it is. But for, sure. for either way, if we're, I mean if we're getting points and everything, then we want we shouldn't be worried about losing. So. For sure. So the next three games are home, Kira. You guys have Grandview University, mm -hmm. who are coming in at seven and zero in conference, mm -hmm. thirteen and six overall, uh, and that'll be Tuesday. Friday, you guys play Avila, who, who comes in at three and seventeen. Um, Saturday, you guys will be taking on Baker at home, mm -hmm. um, and they're coming in at eight, ele eight and eleven. Let's put those two later games aside. Let's talk tomorrow, Grandview University. What are some keys to success for the Bobcats? Well, I think what we need to do to win is just go in and have energy throughout the whole thing. Um, play as a team. We kind of like fade apart and we more play as individuals. So as long as we're like as a team throughout the whole game, I feel like it will work really well. Again, we always come in strong, but and then we kind of like um, go in and out of energy. So we just need to maintain our energy throughout the whole game and maintain our focus. Kira, what year are you, by the way? Um, I'm a junior. Okay. What are you going to be studying? Um, what are you studying? I'm going into exercise science and a minor in psychology. And you're from Omaha, Nebraska? Yes, okay. Omaha, Nebraska. Now, post-graduation, uh, what, what are your plans? Um, after I graduate from Peru, I want to try to get into physical therapy or occupational therapy. Occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. Any coaching in the future? Um, honestly, yeah. So I coached this past year, um, last year for a club team in Nebraska City. Okay. So yeah, I do love coaching volleyball and everything and I'll hopefully try to continue that because I just love volleyball so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kira, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. Um, best of luck tomorrow thank against you. Grandview University. <laughs> Go get them, we need this. Yes. Um, any <laughs> other words for the fans, the people? Everyone should come to the game tomorrow at 7 against Grandview and cheer on because it'll help us. <laughs> you heard it here first. Kira and the Bobcats would love your support. 7 p.m. tomorrow night in the AWAC. They will be taking on Grandview University. Come out and support. 
And as always, we thank you guys. Till next time, we'll see ya.